These days, the sustainable natural elements of this planet are being looked to for everyday uses, from energy to fuel to things like food and fashion. So when that natural resource also has a cool style, then we're all in. With that in mind, we are turning the spotlight on cork today. We've seen it in floor tiles and shoes. Now it's a lightweight, waterproof fabric, easy to manipulate and use with your sewing machine. It's showing up in handbags, zipper pouches, wallets, journal covers, and other accessories. Chris Thurgood with My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop says, we'll see more of this creative canvas. Yep. Chris, where does cork come from? You know, cork is actually the outer layer of, a, of an oak tree, and it's found in Portugal. And so it's, um, it's a wonderful, uh, renewable resource to use because you know they cut it down and it grows right back so people are loving that really cool yeah. so what's so appealing about its style though why are people using this as an accessory you know to me I think it looks a lot like leather it's a it's a different medium you know uh, a lot of times we like to add different uh, mediums into our projects and so the cork just gives a different look and feel a little more sophistication to a project sometimes and when you pair it up with regular fabric it actually can be quite stunning so the and the cork fabric is so easy to work with too. it's so fun seeing yeah. these pictures I mean we're seeing purses and they really have yes put these kind of loud eclectic fabrics exactly. with this cork and it makes yeah. such a fun look and even just this bright zipper yeah such absolutely. a fun look so why are crafters loving it is it that versatility well it's the versatility it's something new to try it's fun it's a fun medium to work with I mean if you feel it it's actually quite soft feel that yeah, it's it really soft, is. It's flexible. It's durable. Look at that. Um, it's and it has a soft. Fray. Yeah, it's quite so soft yeah. and kind of fibrous on the other side. Yeah, exactly. And really fun in these different colors. Yeah, they can dye them to different colors. So we have them in plums and greens and blues and natural, of course, so which is my favorite. So walk us through these that you brought, you brought in some samples of. Okay. These are things that you've made, right? Yeah, yeah, They're absolutely. So, cool. so, you know, a lot of uh, things we're seeing it is in handbags. And so this tote bag, for example, all the way at the end, okay. that is made, the entire outside is made entirely of cork and you just have two different colors of cork there. You've got the mint green and then you and then have the, the mocha brown. Okay, so, but then take a look at the pocket. We were able to even add some stamping onto it with a permanent oh, ink. Oh, how fun, okay. And you can actually really personalize um, your projects in that way as well. And so that's kind of a, a fun thing to be able to do that you might not otherwise be able to do with a regular printed fabric. Okay, so you've got that. Then you've got these nice, cute little totes over here. The mini totes. Where we basically used the cork as an accent. Um, it's almost like a feature of the bag that makes the, the bag actually a little more affordable because it can get a little expensive. So cork is pricey. Cork is Which isn't is a surprise. Pricier. Yeah, okay. exactly. And not so, as much as leather, though, I would imagine. Not as much as leather, but, but around there. And so the nice thing is, if you use it more as an accent or as a feature of the bag, then you're going to be able to make it for a lot less money. Okay, good recommendation. Yeah. This piece I really like because you've used, these are all different they're all cork. Yeah, it's so. all cork, but all different colors, exactly. And you just put a fun zipper in there, and you made this, um, you know, this boxy pouch, which is really popular, a great thing to keep your cosmetics or all your little doodads in it. So that's a great traveling uh, companion. And basically, any bag that you see that calls for fabric, you can do with cork. So do you buy cork on the bolt? Or it, you buy it, it on the roll, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It comes on a roll and you purchase it that way. It's very easy to cut through and it's very simple to sew through. Okay, too. so I want you to prove okay. that to all me. All right, all right. Show so me let's how we take work a look with at this. this. Well, let's take for example, if I were doing a striped bag and I have this fabric and I want to add cork to it, all I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this as it were a regular piece of fabric. Okay. Okay. I don't even have to use a special needle. I don't have to have a special setting on my machine. I'm just going to begin sewing. Oh wow! So this, so just your regular needle. You're right. It has such a soft fill. Yeah, and then so it can penetrate it easily. Exactly, and the needle goes through it just so easily. I'm gonna. Do you go have ahead to adjust any that. of the settings on your sewing machine for it, or nope. it really is just? Oh wow! Look at that. So yeah. if you take a look at this, there, here's where I sewed it and I pull this back, you can just see how, how simple and how smooth that goes down. It really down. does, that looks quite smooth. Okay. I can iron it if I'd like, but also just finger pressing it will do the job just fine. Now if you used it in something um, that 
that needs to be washed is that can you wash cork? You, you, is that yes, a, you can kind wash of wipe cork. it down or throw it in the washing machine. I would, I would wipe it down. Wipe yeah, it down. It, yeah, and it's definitely um, it can you know sustain the water. That's no problem. But I would definitely do more of a wipe down than anything else. Now another fun thing that we did with this was these little bags, and you can see here that I've made one part of it, which okay. is, this is the outside. And then if I want to make the inside of it, all I'm doing, let me show you, let's say, okay, here's my piece of, of cork. Okay. Right? If I turn right sides together, I'm going to make a, a tube and I'm just going to sew all the way down here. Okay. And then I sew along the bottom. Now, Easy enough. that's how I was able to Look make that. this. Look at that, that is quite simple. Okay. Okay. So, by cutting this, I'm just going to square off a little piece of fabric here. Okay. Pull it out. And this is going to be the lining and of our bag. this will be the lining of the bag. Okay. I'm going to sew all the way across and then I will have a boxed out bag. Now, what I'll do from here is I'll insert it into this bag and we have this pattern online too. Oh, but good. the important thing to know is that you can't really pin cork. Oh, okay. that is if good I to know. If I put straight pins through it, it would leave holes. It's going to leave holes. So okay, what I so want to do... Don't use pins. No, nope, I want to use these awesome little, these little clips. clips. Look at those. Okay. These clips will act as my pins and then as I put it through okay. the machine this way and I sew, I'm just going to take the clips off. Okay, easy okay. like a pin. Do that, mm -hmm. flip it inside out, and then you've got yep. your bag. Then you've got your bag. And the only part left is to add handles. So look at this. Check this out. Oh. These are these great leather handles that are so simple. All you're going to do, I'll grab this little bag right here to show you right here. Oh, this is what we like. <laughs> that is simple. Just Look a little how easy clip on. That is. Yep. I love it. It's like a suspender strap, right? It, exactly. Suspender That's exactly strap for like your bag. What it is. Yep. And then we. And go are you right making here. these at the store? Can people come to the store and no, find out more? No, we just have these for sale. So all oh, different colors. Love these. But you can see them in this little tote right here. This is exactly what we did here on the sewing machine. So this is the finished product. This is the finished one. And then you've got one over here. So you can see that with lots of different colors of handles, you can just put it on any bag and boom, your so bag fun. is done. Easy. Okay, any <laughs> spring events at the shop? You know, we have um, lots of fun classes coming up. We have a great shop hop coming up at the end of May, which is the state of Utah, basically from Logan to Springville. So uh, lots of fun things happening. That sounds yes. like a party. Thanks so much, Chris. <laughs> Fun ideas today. <laughs>